Today we're looking at the Case IH 500 drill. And originally, uh, with the regular press wheel that Case IH has on those drills, that wheel was pitched clear in like this. It was, you would have had to almost back the planter through the field in order to get it so that it would close the trench with that tire. And so we developed a, guys were complaining that they didn't get good closure on their, on their um, no-till ground and stuff. So we're building a, and we have a zipper closing wheel, uh, which is this one. And we also have a Mohawk cast closing wheel which is this one. Uh, the difference between the two, the zipper will pull a little more soil. It's the fingers are, the fingers are tapered out and they pull the soil in around, uh, around in the furrow, fill in the furrow, eliminating a lot of air pockets and things in the furrow. As we went along, um, we decided we'd like to pitch this wheel in on the back a little bit. So we build an eccentric type bolt uh, that will screw in in the place of their original bolt. And so we've pitched this in on the back side. Now, when that planter goes through the field, it's pulling that soil in around that, into that seed furrow like it should. And um, I think this should be a good option for the farmers. Now here's about the way it was originally. You can see how it's pitched out on the back side instead of pitched in. Now as we turn this, we're pitching it in. We're bringing that soil in, in that furrow back in here, compacting it, breaking it loose. So we can do the same with both wheels. Okay, I'm going to take this apart. I'll show you what we did. <clears throat> we put a bushing on the outside a half inch. We put a quarter inch spacer on the inside uh, with this bolt. We have one bolt fits all. And what we did, we put a mark on one side or the other. So if you've got a left hand, which this is, the left hand facing the back of the drill, got a left leading disc blade. We put this mark so that it's straight up with right in the center where this uh, spring adjust is on. So that's going to be your setting point. We put a jam nut on uh, on this. Grab that right there. We put a jam nut on first. We screwed it all the way on. Then we go ahead and we thread, thread the, uh, thread it into the threaded 5 8 bolt on the drill. So on a left hand unit, we're going to have the, the little punch mark up. This is coming out and it's bowing it back. On a right hand unit, we're going to use the opposite mark. So we're going to screw it in over on this side and bring the mark, the punch mark up so that it's, it's tilted out this way and back. And that gives us our eccentric. And then if the farmer wants to down the road, he can, uh, I'm going to put my quarter inch bushing back on. Let's say we've got it set in here. Put my quarter inch, my half inch. And if you needed to be further away, you can take the, put the half inch on the inside and the quarter on the outside. And then we'll take two 15 16 wrenches and you can snug it down, tighten her down, and you're ready to roll. And if you wanted to change that eccentric a little bit, if you thought, well, me, man, I'm not getting enough dirt in the row. You can turn this a little more and bring more dirt in. So you've got several adjustments. You can run it straighter up and down. Then when you do that, you're probably going to take that quarter inch totally out of there. 
and run this closer to the furrow. On this unit, we just put a white mark directly in line with where this is welded on. And then we put our, uh, we put two punch marks, one on the bottom, one on the top. So you want that, that uh, bolt to come out and go towards the back or pitch backwards a little bit. So that lets us set this unit and watch this from the inside there. I'm going to pitch that. Look how that straightens that up. This is about where the wheel was set originally, the tire. So it was actually rolling the dirt away from the furrow instead of rolling it in. So by doing this, we're bringing that back up to that point, and then we lock it into place. And then it'll, it'll work on there. I'm gonna put the uh, zipper on just quick and show you what. This is a left-hand zipper. They're marked because there's rights and lefts on the zipper cast. So this will go on the left side, the right one will go on the right side. The mohawk, all you do is just flip it over. So you want the fingers, as they're going through the field, you want them releasing that soil as they come up out of the ground. When they're in the ground at the five and six and seven o'clock positions, they're breaking in that sidewall. They're rototilling that soil like you would rototill your garden. As they exit, they're, they're releasing that soil and leaving it compacted around the seed. We're starting to pull that soil in as it comes around here. And that's the center of our seed V right here and it's pulling that soil into that furrow, compacting it down around the seed. So, as you can see, and then as we, I'm gonna pitch, I'm gonna re-pitch this for you. And watch how that, oops, I'm gonna hold it back here like that was. Look at how it was going before. That's about the distance that it was before. So you can see by turning this eccentric, we're gonna, so we could even come in closer. So we're way over, we're actually in the furrow. If we come down here, we're probably about like this. So we wanna come back to a happy medium here, roughly. And you're gonna have to, farmer's gonna have to adjust it you know, to his specifications and things, what he wants, how much dirt he wants to put in the furrow.